the Joe Rogan experience. Uh, do, if you, I think if you, like, it, any age is funny. The shitting, shitting yourself yeah. is funny. Like, yeah, except when you're really old, then it's of, sad. Of, no, uh, but, but what I'm saying is, if you're 80 and you heard that story, you'd still laugh. Yes. Not if it happened to you when you were 85. If it happened to you when you're 80, then it's, it's sad. Especially if you're a lady. Like, if I'm an 85-year-old man and I shit myself, yeah. feel free to laugh sure. at me. Sure. It's yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, we have your, your permission. Yeah. yeah, but old ladies, it's like, oh. The last old time, I, I've, I've, never, I've, I've only shit myself once, and I was, I think, 11. What? Uh, yes. You're not taking enough chances. I've almost shit myself and just made it uh, so many times. But the last time I almost shit myself and I had to pull over and was when I was going to meet Eminem. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Imagine if you came over his house smelling like shit oh. with no underwear on. <laughs> you had to take your underwear off and throw, and then you have to figure out what to do so that you take your socks off, and yeah. you wipe yourself why down. Why is this guy not wearing socks? And why does he smell like shit? And, uh, <laughs> and, uh, and so I was in this the Sprinter van, and we were going. You know, I was on tour, so I had the Sprinter van, and we were going to the. How did that whole thing happen? Is because you were make fun of him, yeah. And so he S thought it was funny, right? So I was at my old house. This was maybe two years ago at this point, and I was in the driveway. I don't remember what I was doing, but I was waiting for something. And it w had been right around the time where like Eminem's album came out or something. So he was on my mind, and I was like, um, I, I was thinking about him and then i was just like this is how he raps and then i just started doing it to the radio and then i was like oh, this is funny i'm gonna record it and then i <laughs> recorded it one time and i was just like oh that's funny i'll put it online and i put it online and it got you know traction for me it was like uh, it had a lot of hits for me on my instagram and i was like cool great and then like a month later uh black twitter took it and and <laughs> and just was like yo this is this guy says this is how they didn't know nobody knew who I was but they were like this is they, this guy says this is how Eminem raps and then it got millions of things of hits on Twitter and then it got so big my buddies were like you think Eminem has probably seen it right and I was like it's so big maybe it was, one of his buddies must have seen it and showed him and then like a week or two later my buddy texts me uh, one of the writers from that show I used to do on Dateable, and he was like, bro, Eminem. And I was like, what? And he was like, you didn't see? He checked Twitter, and I checked. And then he was like, I thought this was me. And I was like, what? Like, that's like, if you told the 20-year-old me that Eminem was going to... And then he started being like, I will bat rap battle Chris D'Elia one day. I don't know if you saw that. Yeah. No, I didn't see that. Yeah. He was like, I'm going to rap battle Chris D'Elia one day. And I'm like, am I in the hip-hop game now? <laughs> <laughs> And 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 and, um, and then I don't know how much you know about this, but then Logic, the rapper, hit me up. Oh, my manager called me, and he was like, "Hey, so um, look, uh, you know who Logic is? Who's and I, your manager? My, Why every manager like has that, that voice. <laughs> I like so. Look, <laughs> Josh Lieberman. Uh, so look, I, I don't know if you know the uh, ma uh, Logic, the rapper. And I was like, of course I do. And he was like, all right, so look, he's doing a song with Eminem, and he, they are rapping together, and Eminem, Eminem put you, uh, your impression of Eminem on the back of the song, and I, they were wondering if that's okay. And I was like, of course that's okay. And he was like, all right, I'm going to look into it and see. I'm like, no, 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 no. Don't ask for any money. Just let him have it. Are you kidding me that this is even happening? He was like, okay, I'll do it, okay. And so then... He calls me back. He's like, Logic wants your number. And I was like, yeah, okay. So I'm talking to Logic, and Logic's like, so I have a great idea for the video. I want you to play Eminem in this video. Have you seen this video? No. <laughs> no. I wish we could play it on the spot, but it we sucks. can't. But Google it All if right, you're listening. Google Everyone it. Google it. But um, uh, we're, well, we're looking at it on the screen yeah. right there. Oh, yeah, you can see it, right, but not play it. So, yeah. this is, so I'm playing Eminem in this video. I rap his part. <laughs> and now this is the crazy part okay so like i'm talking to logic here and i i play this like super fan of eminem and he's like i have an idea i want we're doing a video and i'm like i'm way ahead of you go ahead this is where I'm way ahead of you and then i take off my wig and i i've always been an eminem like stan and this is me doing <laughs> you got to watch this video so i'll watch it as soon as we're done here so i'm doing this video <laughs> as eminem right 
and we shoot this. And then at the end, you see in the video where I do the impression of Eminem. Yeah. At the end, Dalia doesn't play me, I play Dalia. This is Eminem dressed as me! Ah! That's Eminem doing me in my car, in my driveway two years ago. Ah, that's ridiculous! <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. But, but so, and, and like, to think of me as a 20 year old, like thinking, like finding out who Eminem was and then him becoming one of my favorite rappers, of course, and then it's just such a weird fucking thing. So <laughs> that was mind blowing. And then on the way to meet him, I shit my fucking, I, I had to pull the spinner van over and he has no idea, but dude, it was so funny. I, it was just one of those things where I was like, uh, I think, you know how you have to, you're like, I think I have to shit. And the next thought is. I got a shit right now. <laughs> right Do you now. know what I mean? Like, yeah. there's no thinking involved. It's like, oh, it turned into, uh-oh, uh, 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 exactly, right. The clinch. <laughs> so I say to the sprinter, to, to the driver, I say, hey, buddy, um, can you pull off the, the freeway? Uh, I got to, in my head, I'm like, I got time if there's a bathroom near, right? So I'm like, uh, can you pull over uh, and, and, and find the first place I got to go to the bathroom? And he says, okay. And then a few seconds go by and I say, hey, just so you know, uh, like now. You know, and because I got, I'm working on something here. I got, I really got to get it going. <laughs> and he says, "Sure, no, th no problem." So he pulls off, and and there are two ways he can go. And one way he can go, there is only a hospital, okay. And the other way he can go is into town. So I'm like, in my head, I'm like. It sucks, but we got to go to the hospital. And I, I, I got to use the bathroom in the hospital. And I'm going to run in. They're going to think something's wrong. But I'm just going to be like, where's the bathroom? I got to go. This guy goes the other way into town to find a gas station. So now I'm mad. So now I have to shit and I'm mad. So I say to the guy, hey, man, um, pull over. And he pulls over and I open the thing and there were Kleenex there. I grabbed them and I ran into someone's yard. No. <laughs> It was in the middle of nowhere, dude. It was in, we were going on our way to Detroit. And I, and, um, and I was in someone's yard. A I, I, I found trees, thank God. Pulled down my pants, and it all came out quick. <laughs> and, and, and was it, was it done. diarrhea or was it shit? It was not, it was not shit. Uh, it was not shit. It was just, it came explosion. out. It was just like, <laughs> right? Came out like a barking dog. <laughs> And it was over. It was over before it even started, you know? And, uh, and I was, I know I felt so much better. And then I used the Kleenex and my opener's in the, in the, in the thing filming me. I'm like, bro, oh. I swear to God, if that ends up on, on, on Instagram, I will fucking, you're done. You're done. You're done. You're done. And, and not only that, you're not meeting Eminem. <laughs> I'm screaming, shitting in someone's yard. Hey, you're not meeting Eminem if you post that. And just in some random guy's yard. <sighs> and uh, and so so now uh, I, I I feel great. I wipe with the Kleenex, and I just I'm I'm sorry I littered, but I left the Kleenex there. What am I gonna do? What you know? are you gonna and, do? And it was a it was a a lot. And I was like, <sighs> and I and I left. I got back into the thing. And I was like, that was amazing. I was like, somebody's gonna think there was a fucking bobcat in their yard. Like I just, and we went and we met Eminem, and he had, he no, had idea. no idea. Maybe he'll know now. <laughs> I'm sure he's seen this show. <laughs> But yeah, uh, I shit myself on the way to fucking Eminem. So oh, I don't really count Jesus that as shitting Christ. myself. You know what I mean? Because I got outside and did it. Yeah, it's a gray area. <laughs>